Hey everybody, it's Moonvet here with Forensics Mission 5 and this time we need to get a Telnet authentication. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to say quality speed stream and you see this and you think this is very weird. True, but we see the entire conversation. So what if we only did um, from the endpoint to the one initiating it? Okay, that doesn't help. We do the other way around, from the one initiating it to the endpoint. Ah, right, this helps. This helps more. Because the login Abby, so we already have that. And we got this password that we can't see. Alright, if we go back to the entire conversation, we know that the login is Abby, so this is not necessary to remember. What you can see here is you see an A and then an A, a B and then a B, a B and then a B, and a Y and then a Y. So everything is double. So this gets sent in, this gets repeated as it were, or put in. So here you can see, one is put in, star comes up. Two comes in, star comes up. Or asterisk, so whatever you want. And that this is not necessary, because this is not what you put in. So basically, the login is Abby, and the password is 123 at four dollar so um, it's Abby and one two three at four dollar and there we go so um, that's Telnet for you yeah here sounds Institute says you should never do Telnet again because um, Whatever type you can see with TCP dump or whatever. I have not used TCP dump yet. Uh, we could do, but the most um, like easy way to uh, the easiest way to connect to your servers through SSH secure shell. That's it. It's way better. But um, yeah, that's it for Forensic Mission Five.